Today we're getting into the latest Tesla news, including Tesla finally decreasing prices, new Tesla software features, the return of the long range Model 3, Tesla qualifying for new tax credits and more, so let's get into it. First up today, Tesla is constantly updating their vehicle fleet. Sometimes this brings bug fixes, sometimes it changes UI for better or worse depending on who you ask, but other times it brings great feature updates. These software updates are particularly notable because they come to nearly all Tesla vehicles, even those a few years old. It's usually fairly rare that updated hardware is required to receive these software update features. The latest update is version 2022.40.1 and brings a few great updates. First is a small update, radio station logos. Quote, the media player now displays radio station logos for improved discoverability when searching for favorite stations. That's a small update, but one great part of Tesla vehicles is their sentry mode security system. This activates the cameras and records when motion happens around the car, but certain things prevent it from operating, like when you use dog mode. Now Tesla has updated this to allow you to use both simultaneously. Quote, your vehicle and pets can be kept safe by activating dog mode and sentry mode at the same time. Sentry mode alarms are silenced if dog mode and sentry mode mode are both enabled. Mobile app notifications will still be sent and video footage will still be saved. Arguably the most important update here comes with charging. Charging speed is very important for electric vehicles, particularly when DC fast charging on the road, and the main thing that determines charging speed is the battery management system. With this update, Tesla has updated that as well for better efficiency. Quote, during DC fast charging, the thermal system controls have been optimized for each charging station's power capability, improving both charging and on-route battery preconditioning efficiency. This results in fast charge time and reduced energy costs. Every owner will be happy to see reduced energy costs and faster charging times. Lastly is an update to driver door unlock mode. This mode will only unlock the driver door when turned on, but if you wish to override it and unlock all doors, until now you had to do so from the menu on screen. Now you can simply long press the interior driver door switch and it will unlock all doors and the trunk. This update comes after Tesla has added the new much improved energy app to better monitor your real world in car usage. And after that, Tesla updated karaoke. It's a small fun update Date, but I noticed it on 2022.36.2 in the Model S. Karaoke can now be played with the rear screen displaying lyrics as well. Next up today, Tesla has officially gained approval from the Environmental Protection Agency in the US for the 2023 model year of all their vehicles. Previously, we knew that the Model X and 3 had begun official 2023 model year production, but for the time being, the Model Y and S were still 2022 model years. Now all of Tesla's vehicles are approved, and one thing worth noting is that this includes approval for the the long range Model 3. Much more on that in a second. First, we can see all the specs that Tesla gained approval for, and this confirms that Tesla will be moving on to 2023 model year production soon for all of their cars. For most brands, this means moving on to an updated vehicle, but for Tesla, there rarely is a change as they change their vehicles throughout the year. For the 2023 Model Y, it looks like it will be dropping ultrasonic sensors, so one kind of upgrade there that's actually a downgrade for the time being. In China, they've updated the rear seats to make them more comfortable, so this could be coming to the 2023 Model Y in the US, but we'll have to see. As for the 2023 Model 3 though, the Model 3 long range has been unavailable to buy on Tesla's website for some time. Tesla said it would be available in 2023. With this new approval, it's confirmed that Tesla will be making that car and making it available in 2023, but at the same time, Tesla's own Model 3 website has updated to say, see limited current and upcoming inventory below the Model 3 long range. When you click it, there are a number of long range 2023 Model 3s available to purchase purchase. No matter what zip code you choose as well, you can find multiple Model 3s available in different configurations. It looks like the starting price is right at $57,990 for a base model, but they also say that these are expected to be built and available for delivery in November to December. So they are taking orders for this car now, but in a much different way than usual. Rather than using their order configurator, you can order specific Model 3s in all of the different configurations they make through the inventory page. These have yet to be built, so it's a very interesting approach here. The long range Model 3 is very much available to purchase from Tesla right now, but for some reason it's off of their order configurator. It could have to do with upcoming tax credits, and we'll talk much more about that in just a little bit. Next up today, for the first time in what seems like forever, Tesla has decreased prices on their vehicles. In early 2021, the base price of the long range Model Y was $48,990. Today that car goes for $65,990. There have been various improvements to that car, but overall 
while it's the same car for $17,000 more. These price increases have come as a result of global supply chain issues, inflation, and of course, Tesla's high demand allowing them to charge extra. Over in China this past quarter though, many have been concerned with Tesla's demand. Now Tesla has officially lowered prices and initiated a new referral program there. As Electric put it, Tesla has pulled demand levers. The last we heard about demand from Tesla came via Elon Musk on the Q3 2022 earnings call. Elon said, I can't emphasize enough, we have excellent demand for Q4 and we expect to sell every car that we make for as far into the future as we can see. At the same time, shortly after the call, we saw them introduce new colors in Berlin and now lower prices in China. It's unclear the exact reasoning for these changes, but most speculate it has to do with demand in these markets. In China, Tesla reduced the price of the Model 3 to 265,900 won, or $36,800. That's down from around $38,800, a $2,000 decrease in the Model 3 rear-wheel drive price. The Model 3 performance also dropped about $2,500. The biggest decreases come with the Model Y, though. The rear Rear-wheel drive standard range Model Y dropped $3,900, the long range dropped about $5,100, and the performance Model Y dropped about $2,800. Their official post said from now on, the price of Tesla Model 3 and Model Y in mainland China will be adjusted. These cars through the end of the year will also qualify for a new energy vehicle subsidy of RMB 11,088 for privately used units. At the same time Tesla is dropping prices here, they have also launched a new referral program in China. It's called Treasure chest and Tesla owners get rewards if buyers use their referral links. Instead of receiving supercharger miles though, you receive points that you can exchange for certain things. The points also enter you in a raffle. Prizes in the Q1 2023 raffle include a Giga Texas belt buckle, Model S stroller, home charging service package, or 24 months of the FSD package. For the annual sweepstakes, you'll get a Giga Texas VIP visit, supercharger miles of 50,000 kilometers, quote, three year right to use new items in the Tesla boutique, and a rear-wheel drive Model 3 or Model Y for one year. For now, there are a lot of details yet to be clarified on that referral program, but Tesla is clearly initiating this to boost interest further. It definitely seems to be working because reportedly when they first dropped prices, the Tesla China site crashed due to interest. That $5,000 drop for the long-range Model Y is pretty big. It makes that car around 9% less expensive than before. If that came to the US, it would put the Model Y just over $60,000 instead of above $65,000 where it is now. So that begs the question, how long until these changes come to the US? Tesla hasn't seen a decrease in demand according to Elon Musk, but it appears that they have a reason to drop prices and initiate a new referral program in China. There have been rumors of Tesla's referral program returning to the US as well, so maybe the high prices of Tesla's vehicles, as they are continuing to ramp production, are finally seeing some negative results. This is of course speculation. One big change we're seeing for Tesla vehicles is their resale value. Over the past year, used Tesla prices were skyrocketing, such that they were higher than buying new because you could get one right away. Reports talked about how large Tesla's used vehicle business was getting, likely in part because their used prices were able to be so high, but now prices have gone down quite a bit. For the Model Y, you can now get a one or two year old Model Y used and actually save money. It's still pricey, but much cheaper than they were before. Also worth noting, Tesla includes FSD with most of these cars. So for this example, it comes in at $59,900. It has 37,000 miles, but it includes FSD which Tesla now charges a whopping $15,000 for. It seems that Tesla isn't fully valuing FSD at $15,000 here. If they were, that car would be worth $44,900 since the FSD software is the same used or new. The most extreme examples come with the Model 3 though. In multiple areas around the country, there are used Model 3s available with reasonable mileage for less than $40,000. This is a standard range Model 3 for $37,600 and enhanced autopilot. Tesla charges $6,000 for enhanced autopilot. Of course, it's 2019 and used, but that same configuration today would cost $55,940 prior to buying a charger, which is no longer included on new models. I see many used Model 3s available in the high 30,000s in California, and some of the most, quote, affordable models are ones like this one, a 2019 Model 3 long range at $42,600. This is long range and includes full self-driving. It also shows a 0-60 to 60 in 3.9 seconds, so it has the $2,000 acceleration boost. 
boost. Today, prior to buying that acceleration boost, ordering through Tesla's inventory page, this car would cost $72,990, nearly $30,000 more than buying that used one. Of course, buying new versus an almost four-year-old car is a huge difference, but it seems that Tesla's used prices really are dropping for the first time in a while. These are some of the lowest prices we've seen for used inventory on Tesla's website in some time. Even without FSD in the equation, since that's pretty confusing as to how Tesla values it, this used car is around $15,000 cheaper than buying new. I personally don't recommend buying Tesla's FSD package because it's extremely overpriced for what it offers today, but if I was interested in buying that package, buying used might actually be the most affordable way to get it, which is very interesting to see. I'm curious what Tesla's thought process is here. In any case, these lowered used prices could be an indication that new vehicle prices will end up dropping in the near future in the US as well from Tesla. If used prices are going down this much, especially from Tesla directly, there could very well be a lot of people opting to buy used instead of new. As a result of lowered new vehicle demand, we could see Tesla do exactly what they just did in China, but in the US. One indicator here could be the impending tax credit. The Inflation Reduction Act changed the EV tax credit, making a point of sale credit available for new and used EVs, $7,500 off new electric cars and $4,000 off used ones. It will become available on January 1st and gets rid of any manufacturer caps, which means Tesla can qualify if they meet other specific requirements. The main requirement that comes into play for 2023 is the MSRP cap. It's $55,000 for new cars and $80,000 for pickups, SUVs, or vans. There are many more specifics, but Tesla talked about this quite a bit on their Q3 earnings call, and Elon said he expects Tesla to meet the IRA requirements fully. Furthermore, Zachary Kirkhorn, Tesla's CFO, said yes, we view the passing of the Inflation Reduction Act as a significant boost towards accelerating automation while also scaling the battery supply chain at large in the United States. For specifics, he said, we expect Treasury to publish detailed guidance by the end of the year. Until such time, it's difficult to fully determine the eligibility criteria, but we believe Tesla is very well positioned to capture a significant share of that for solar storage and also electric vehicles. What's unclear here is exactly what Zach or Elon mean by meeting the requirements fully. For the Model Y, Tesla is planning to ramp up battery production in North America to meet all battery requirements of the Inflation Reduction Act. Those become stricter over the next couple years. The Model Y already meets the MSRP cap of an SUV under $80,000 as far as we can tell, but for the Model Model 3, it's unclear what would happen. In 2023, the standard range Model 3 should qualify for $7,500 off, but the long range Model 3 that we talked about earlier is unclear. Today, it costs $57,990, so it would be MSRP capped, but lowering the cost by $3,000 would put it right under that cap. So that car would actually become $10,500 cheaper than today for consumers in theory, if Tesla dropped the price that much. Is that what Tesla meant by meeting the requirements? Maybe they were focused on meeting battery requirements that become stricter in the next few years, but the long-range Model 3 is a very popular car for Tesla. It's so popular, in fact, that they stopped taking orders earlier this year. Could Tesla meeting the MSRP cap of $55,000 for the long-range Model 3 also be what Elon meant by saying they'll meet all IRA requirements? In China, they just dropped certain Model 3 prices by $2,000 to $2,500, so I don't think a $3,000 price drop is out of the question in the US by any means. Either way, Tesla is definitely in an especially odd limit of high new vehicle prices, lower used prices, and a big tax credit on the way. These all could be affecting consumer purchasing in many different ways. What do you think though? Will we finally see Tesla decrease prices in the US? Leave a comment below to let me know your thoughts. Next up today, a product Tesla has talked about making for some time is a home HVAC system. Elon Musk initially said, quote, oh man, home HVAC that is super energy efficient, quiet, and purifies the air would be great. We developed it for the car, but it can be scaled up for home use. Later, he added, Added, I'm dying to do super efficient quiet home HVAC with HEPA and water distillation. It's weird, but I really want to do it. Earlier this year, when asked about it, Elon said it's on the future product list, especially important in places like Austin, which has next level amounts of pollen in the air. Tesla does have a lot of experience making effective HEPA filtration systems in their cars. The only car they ship today without one is the Model 3, so this could very well be a product that they expand 
into furthering their home offerings. As always, Tesla products like this take a lot of time, but once again this week, Elon confirmed it will happen. It's a small piece of news, but it adds to the list of products Tesla still plans on making in the future. We'll keep an eye out for any developments there. For now, of course, Tesla's main focuses are their vehicles, home solar and energy storage, and AI. Last up today, some updates about Rivian. We're starting to see the rollback of many features people loved about Rivian's cars when they were announced. Scaling up electric cars is incredibly difficult, and Tesla is one of the only companies to successfully do it profitably. At the same time, they've done it by eliminating certain features and shipping their cars with fairly simple interiors. So when people see vehicles from brands like Rivian offering awesome accessories like a powered tonneau cover or camp kitchen, they get really excited. The unfortunate thing is, Rivian is now facing scaling issues here. Last week, Rivian officially announced that their camp kitchen, which has yet to ship to any customers, is being entirely redesigned. For customers with the camp kitchen pre-ordered, Rivian said, we're reaching out with an update regarding the camp kitchen you pre-ordered. We are temporarily pausing production of the camp kitchen as we work to update its design. The note goes on for reasoning and explains that it will be removed from this order since the car will be delivered prior to the kitchen becoming available. I personally figured the kitchen may never see the light of day, and it's unfortunate to be proven right here. Arguably, the bigger change with Rivian, though, is with their tonneau cover. For some time, issues with the powered tonneau cover have been known, and when I took delivery of my R1T, they told me it was being redesigned and will likely have issues that service will need to fix. As a result, Rivian is now pulling the powered tonneau cover from production entirely. In this letter, Rivian said, we recently shared with R1T owners that we are upgrading the powered tonneau cover. As we go through the process, we are removing the powered tonneau cover from production. They don't have a reintroduction date yet, and all orders today will now only come with a manual cover or no cover at all. For now, it will still include the side rails for this cover, but in early 2023, they'll transition to a design without integrated side rails. That's a huge change for the R1T, as that feature has been an exciting part of that car for years leading up to production. It's also a very unfortunate changeover process. It really shows how challenging scaling cars is for a new company, and while many of these updates and changes are to be expected, it's always unfortunate to see. Rivian still has a backlog of many orders, so hopefully from here on out they are able to navigate through and avoid changing features on pre-order holders. I'll keep you posted. So far, my R1T powered tonneau cover has worked fine. That's all the latest Tesla news for today, so in the meantime, if you want to see 13 new EVs coming in 2024, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.